Hi everyone, this is the 142nd video of the ACT Math Practice Problem Series and here we have an interesting problem from Geometry. As I always recommend before seeing the solution, you can pause the video and give it a try yourself and after that of course you want to match with my solution. So let's get started. Here the question says, in the given diagram, if AB is parallel to CD and AC is equal to EC, then X is equal to which of the following five angles? So essentially we have to find out the size of the angle X which is actually the angle ACE based on the given information. To solve this kind of problem we have to carefully note the provided information in the question. right? So here in the question there are two vital information. One is that the line segment AB is parallel to line segment CD. So that is one piece of very important information. And then also AC is equal to EC. That is another important piece of information which we are going to need to solve this problem. Now because AB and CD they are parallel, if you consider AD to be a transversal, then guess what? The alternate angle of this 40 degree would be right here. So this will be that alternate angle right here and this is also going to be 40 degree. And now if we consider the triangle CDE in that triangle, now you see we know two angles by now right we have a 35 degree angle and a 40 degree angle and if you think about this exterior angle right here which is the AEC angle that angle would be sum of the two farthest interior angles and that would be equal to 40 plus 35 that's 75 degree now let's look at the triangle ACE. Now because AC is equal to EC then this must be an isosceles triangle. So if angle AEC is equal to 75 degree then definitely angle CAE will also be 75 degree. So now in this small triangle ACE we know two of the angles and X is the third angle and we know that the sum of the angles inside a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So here we can say well X plus 75 degree plus another 75 degree this is equal to 180 degree and then from here we can say well then definitely x is equal to 180 degree minus 75 plus 75 that is 150 so 150 degree and that is equal to 30 degree and that is our answer and if you look at our answer options we have 30 degree under option g so option g would be the correct option i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video